Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going through my Glitter Bells collection. I have them all set out and I have swatches all labeled. I hadn't done a video yet with all of the Glitter Bells that I've gotten, so I thought I would today. If that's something you'd like to see, stick with it. We'll be right to it. So today I am using my Glitter Bells number 12. I have a number 10 and a number 12. I like them both for separate reasons. I'm using this particular number 12 because it is my older brush and I am going to be swatching a lot of glitters and colors today. So I thought it would be smarter to use my older brush in case any glitter or anything gets stuck in it. I am using my Ugly Duckling Premium Monomer and I have a piece of towel set up over here beside me. So what I've done is pre-labeled swatch sticks and I have all of my colors sitting to the side and I'll be swatching them that way. So the first one to start with is Wisteria. It is beautiful. They're all beautiful, you're gonna hear me say that. They're all beautiful. Like, look at that, just gorgeous. So Wisteria kind of has like a purple-y glitter in it and a pinky glitter. There's some silver in there. It fades beautifully as you can see. Gorgeous. So that is Wisteria. The second color that I'm swatching today is Fairy Crush. So you can get the Glitter Bells products by going to the Nail Throne. I have a discount code for 10% off. It is liquid chrome. I will list it in the description box. I'm going to do this one on the underside. Whoop. Oh, that is so pretty. You guys, I'm just thinking, Fairy Crush, Fairy Crush. I don't think I've even seen this one yet. I think this is one of the new ones that I got. Wow. It is like a bright, really bright green. I love these crush colors. They are my favorite by far of any glitter, premix glitter. The crush, like, look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, I really like that one. Yeah, so you can see in the jar the different facets that it has. It almost has a um, I don't want to say angel paper, but it's almost little pieces of angel paper or something similar. Really beautiful. Okay, our next one up is blush. Blush is similar to wisteria in the manner of the glitter. So check that out. It's very pretty. Blush is exactly as it promises. It's a nice pink glitter. It's got a hint of purple to it as well. Coverage is gorgeous. It also fades very nicely. 
You're going to want to cap all of these in clear. Very nice. Queen B. Queen B has no glitter. Queen B looks like this. Beautiful. Beautiful and bright. And again, Queen B will need to be capped with clear. Glitter Bells has their own clear. You can use yours. Adding the clear, building with the clear will assure that you get good strength. So that's pretty neat. It's actually not what I'm wearing here, but it does look very similar. For comparison's sake, what I'm wearing on my finger is Magic Gel's Neon Lemon. Very, very similar. Mind you, I am wearing the Neon Lemon over an Ugly Duckling coat of 135. That seems to be the way it wears the best. Barbie candy, like, hello Barbie. It couldn't be any more Barbie. Ooh, so pretty. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. You probably can't see that on camera. Hoping we can here. Hopefully you can see that on camera. Beautiful. Teal Twinkle. How pretty is that? It is kind of the same as Wisteria in how it's made. It's not a thick crush glitter. It's simply a fine powdery glitter. I love it. So pretty, so bold. It's teal, it's green, it's silver. It's got some brighter teal sparkle in it. Absolutely beautiful. Next up, Earth. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. I've had this open, but I've not swatched it. So I do not know what it looks like other than on the website, which beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look, okay, we have to stir this one. Oh my. That is stunning. Oh, I might have to do my own nails now. Can you imagine wearing a full set of this, just this, and some crystals? I did just do a crystal haul. If it's not up on my channel yet, it will be shortly. If you want to go to that video and check it out. Oh my land. Yep. Oh, it's got the little Gosh, it's got so much stuff in it. So let me put another bead on here first. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. I love that. It's got the little um, octagon shapes in it. It's got glitter in it. It's got iridescent in it. I'm a sucker for iridescent. So that is amazing. Oh, I really may have to put that on. Okay, next up is Poison. Poison is really cool because Poison, I swear, has a hundred different colors in it. Look at that. It's purple, it's green, it's blue, it's black, it's dark. 
And as with all of them, this will need to be capped if you're going to wear it. I'm going to just fade it out, hoping that, oh yeah, there, okay. Okay, so there's like green, there's purple, there's blue in there. Like Poison literally has all the colors. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I truly love these. Like I've never, I've never had anything like this. Okay, Pink Crush, again, new. I've looked at it in the jar but I have not yet used it. Like the thing is still on, which I'm famous for not putting back. Ugh. I cannot wait to see this. Oh gosh. Okay, look. Oh yeah. That is so beautiful. Oh, maybe a full set of this would be cool. This is where I start getting big dreams. Okay. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Guys. <sighs> Guys. Okay, so I've, I've faded it simply because I want you to see, hopefully you can see that there is fuzz on that. That there is a, okay, I can't help the fuzz. There is a green gold in here. There is the pink, of course. There are shards of things that are iridescent and beautiful. Hands down, oh my gosh, I really love that. I've probably said that about each and every one of these, but that one is truly, oh, we're upsetting the apple cart. That one is truly beautiful. Okay, Prince Crush. I haven't seen this one either. Wow, I'm really behind the times. <gasps> oh, look. But look though. Wow, okay. This is exciting too. Oh, wow, look at the iridescent in that. I'm gonna fade it as well so that we can really see. Oh yeah, that is so cool. Okay, so in comparison to Earth, Earth has bigger pieces in it and Prince probably has a little bit more blue-green whereas Earth is a uh, pinky purple Boy, be still my heart. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. Seafoam Crush is next. I've had this one, I've used it, and I love it. My clients love it. If I'm going to use this on somebody, I tend to use it um, in a fade situation. just because of time restraints on our appointment. I don't always have people booked in to be able to do a full switchover. Uh, yeah, see, that's just beautiful. Oh, I didn't stir this one, I need to stir it. It's gonna be a thing now, okay. Yep, like so pretty, so, so very pretty. Again, sucker for the iridescence, right? Such a sucker for the iridescence. Boss Lady. I love Boss Lady. Boss Lady is super cool. Okay. Ooh, let's build. Let's build again. <laughs> Making a huge mess. But hey, I am the Boss Lady, right? 
which also means I'm the maid. So I'll clean that up later. So pretty. So this is like a, a silver pull on the other iridescence that we've seen. So let's say let's get these other ones here. So this is Boss Lady, Prince, and Earth. So there. So you have your uh, larger shards, your pinky purple, your smaller shards, your green blue. And then this is kind of a mixture of both with smaller pieces than Earth, um, but it has kind of a silvery background, which is really neat. And I am really comparing these, uh, you know, more kind of for me too, because I really do love the iridescence. Probably I'm going to be wearing all this. <laughs> Probably because, you know, this is what I love the best. So see, the, these are the ones I like to look at. <laughs> Okay, so this is Opal Crush. Love Opal Crush. Love, love Opal Crush. I've used a fair amount of this. I don't know how they put together such similar but such different crush type glitters. Like, man, wouldn't I love to be there. See, oh, so pretty, yeah. Opal Crush was the original iridescent for me. It was the first one in my first order. So, uh, I guess I didn't, I didn't do a swatch for it, I thought I did. I'm gonna show you this, this is a core powder. So this is something you're going to finish with. This is something you can file on, it's going to build strength. It is a core powder, just like your clear, just like anything else, but it's pink opal shimmer. And I am gonna swatch it. Whoops, sorry, making the camera do funny things. I am gonna swatch it because it does have a shimmer to it. It does have a nice color to it. So I wanna be able to show you that. I love the coverage on this. I love how it's sheer and opaque at the same time. I know how contradictive that is, but. So it's a really nice neutral, natural color, very pinky, but very not overpowering at all. Um, I really like it. I've used a fair amount of it just lately, so I thought I would show you that as well. So please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed, and you can absolutely subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified when I post. I try to post on Mondays, doesn't always work out. Life can sometimes get in the way, but I do try to post Mondays, Tuesdays. Um, anyhow, so go to the Nail Throne, look at the Glitter Bell stuff, there's gel polishes too, use the discount code, Check her out on Facebook because sometimes she um, puts like flash sales on there. I've purchased all of these things. There's nothing here that's, you know, I, I'm not, I've not been given stuff to, uh, to push this product. I just truly love the colors. So I wanted to swatch them and let you see them. Have a great day. Bye.